right, and welcome everybody to this evening's stream. Now, I've got it on a bit of a delay, uh, so welcome uh, when you get there, just because, uh, you know, this is um, a actual tournament game. So I've got it on delay so you guys can't bug me in the chat, uh, but regardless, I will uh, spread it everywhere because that's what I do. Um, so you can watch, and I'm just going to be talking through my thinks on this. So. Uh, sorry, just going to share it, but you can have a look at my lists uh, while I'm doing that. <laughs> okay, uh, copy pasta. There we go. Let's get this all posted out. So, what I'm going to do, as normal, is I, I just post this in all the groups because I can. Uh, but today we have some fun. Uh, we have. Jedi on the table. Um, I've been playing with this uh, a little bit at the moment. I'm 2-2. Two, two. Uh, I've got to the point where people are starting to counter me because you're allowed to change your list in between each game. Uh, with this tournament, it's X-Wing Vassal Tournament Online. It's pretty fun. I'm enjoying myself. I think it's a top 8 cut, uh, so I don't think I have a chance of getting into the uh, cut because I'm 2 wins and 2 losses right now with it, but it's been a really good opportunity to practice with um, Jedi uh, because I was really really bad with them and I'm getting better it's really really good to see so uh, we are good to go uh, I've got this on a five minute delay as I mentioned um, because of the fact this is actually a live tournament game so uh, for those of you wondering why you stared at a black stream for a few minutes uh, that was why and now you know so um, I won the initiative roll not that it matters and you can see here that we are playing against a Sloan Swarm and I really like this version you got a Reaper you got two interceptors four academies it's pretty beefy um, yeah the problem with a Sloan Swarm is that if you get stressed then all of your opponent's ships get rerolls. On top of that, if you cut a ship that isn't Sloan, and that ship is in range, is it one to three? Uh, yeah, it is uh, naught to three. If it's in range of that Reaper, and naught to three is a really big bubble, uh, then, you know, they get two stress tokens, which is pretty sad. However, I do have a secret weapon in this list. It wasn't built intentionally to take on Sloan Swarms, but uh, we have Ahsoka. And Ahsoka can coordinate thingies uh, even when they are stressed. Um, what I will do is I, I think I'll turn the chat box on. I'll leave the chat box on. Uh, but obviously if you're on a five minute delay, I'm not really paying attention to the chats because it is meant to be a tournament game. So asteroids wise, I place that big rock. Uh, it's good to get it on the board here. Uh, this one goes here. I am slightly confused as to why <coughs> Uh, Epionic might uh, put that there. I mean, it kind of keeps it out of the way. Normally you'd corner your rocks, but we'll see. We'll see how this develops. <coughs> Sorry. There we go. Um, I'm using the corner bits here because I really like how this sets up the board. Uh, it's, it's a good opportunity. I, I like the idea of keeping those asteroids over there and out of the way. Ah, nice. So he's looking to make a triangle. Now the advantage that I've done here uh, is I've got this one further wide, so it makes a wide enough space that it's almost a little bit tempting. Uh, I imagine the next asteroid is going down here. So I have a choice. Uh, I can either make this bit of the board messy, or I can make this bit of the board messy. And if if my uh, opponent is going to put one here for me and stop anyone turning around the corner fight then what I want to do is I want to make sure that the entire swarm doesn't come through the middle so I'm going to plonk that right there 
just to make it a little bit annoying for him. There it goes, predictions. Now the whole idea of this is I'm trying to make my opponent come up the side and I'm trying to make Epionic Swarm come up the side, one side or the other. Because what I will likely do is I'll bait with one of the Jedi, probably Anakin. Uh, Anakin likes being bait. And then uh, Plo and uh, Ahsoka will go and try and hit the Swarm in the side. Uh, what Epionic is going to do is probably expect my bait and try and turn in on Plo and Ahsoka, at which point Anakin hits him from behind. Uh, if you're thinking 4D chess, then that's likely what happens. Um, alternatively, he just lets me hit him and then K turns um, and goes from there. Thank you for the sabby things. Uh, so yeah, we we like follows. We like those those beautiful beautiful numbers on the board. And good evening. I don't know if the chat's live. Uh, Garchala, is the chat live or is it delayed? It's probably delayed. So in five minutes he'll hear me say that and then you know we'll get there. Some people watching on YouTube. Some people watching on Twitch. Uh, well, no one watching on Twitch right now. It takes a little while to update. Okay, let's have a look at this deployment. Reapers on the side, um, expected. We have the Academy Ties coming through the middle. Okay, so we're just using a standard block. Uh, this tells me that, obviously, as this is game, I think this is game five of the league. Um, yeah, this, this isn't, they're, they're not staying like that. They're setting up like that and then they're turning out. Because the interceptors are setting up like this, likelihood is these guys are going quite fast. Probably a... F mm, with where he is, I would expect a 5 forward and a 4 forwards to get a little bit of space. And then the interceptors do a little hard one turn in. Um, I really like the interceptors with this list. Uh, they're a little bit of decent firepower. Honestly, I'm looking to kill them first. Uh, my ships can kind of survive without uh, with two stress for a little while as long as I'm in a good position. So, because I've got the force, I don't really mind as much. Um, it's quite nice that I just get the choice to do what I like with my ships as well. Um, normally, Ahsoka has to play the bait and set up early. Um, I'm going to try something a little bit different here. I'm going to go over there with Anakin. Uh, I want to. I want to properly play the bait. Uh, I'm going to going to try and play play a bit of a proper bait here. Okay. Let's see what we get. Uh, let's see what we get. Let's let's try this. Now the reason I'm putting my ships here, uh, Anakin is immediately going to do a hard one up the board. Uh, when he does his hard one up the board, what's going to end up happening? Um, Uh, right, so we're playing an hour plus two, which is about the same amount of time as an hour and 15 minutes on the table. Um, so what we should end up uh, with is about approximately the same amount of time. Uh, I've played Epionic before, he's a good player. He's, uh, he seems like a really friendly chap as well. Normally I would have jumped on Discord for this, but I wanted to do some streaming, so uh, I considered uh, doing that. I um, Thank you to uh, Epionic for allowing me to stream this. I don't know where to call him um, De, Leon, De Leon, as he is on Discord, or Epionic, whichever one he prefers. Um, so I'm going to try and be sneaky here. We'll do the sneaky sneak, and uh, you'll see what the sneaky sneak is in a second. And Anakin needs to get his chopper charges out early, so we'll get that running. Um, see if you can work out what I'm going to do for my moves. So the whole idea here um, it's uh, something that's quite nice actually, is it's good to confirm with your opponent uh, whether or not they have a system phase. Because if you have the first ship that's revealing, you know you can just go ahead and go. Um, it's on the board; it isn't a problem. Whereas on Vassal, uh, it's quite difficult um, to go and um, 
yeah, it, it's quite it's quite difficult on Vassal to work out who's going first sometimes, especially if you have bombs, and your opponent will just get used to when you say set, they'll just reveal their dials. Uh, so it's quite nice to check for system phases every turn. I will make a point of checking every single turn for system phases, even if um, I'm not going to drop a bomb. Uh, it has the advantage and the disadvantage of reminding my opponent that I've got a bomb, but also uh, if my opponent goes and um, if, if you suddenly go okay and system phase, like waiting for them, they know that uh, you're going to drop the bomb that round. So it gives them information, it's quite nice to not give them information. There's the barrel roll, um, he did that in the wrong order uh, because he should have, if he'd have moved these guys first then he could have got away with barrel rolling. Um, there we go. Um, so yeah, the uh, the whole idea there is that um, if you say, okay, now time for system phase, just randomly, they're just like, cool, well, obviously you're doing something. Um, so if you get your opponent used to it, then they won't know when you're going to drop that bomb. Um, so yeah, I so guys, do feel free to chat in the stream. Uh, I will reply to you. It's just on a five minute delay, so chuck your questions in there. I will get to them eventually. Um, Obviously, I'm not going to talk about the game too much in terms of why did I do something, because this is a league game. Uh, but if you've got any uh, fun questions, then go ahead and ask. Why not? It's all it's all for fun. Um, as I said, I think I'm 2-2 here, so we're gonna we're gonna see what happens here. It's always nice to play a swarm. I've missed playing swarms. It's always a it's always a tough game, swarm versus aces. But they're some of the most enjoyable games that I've ever had. Um, is playing a good swarm player with a decent aces list. It's uh, it's quite cool. Oh, he rolled the other way. Sorry, I'm not paying attention. He did do it the correct order. There we go. Uh, yep, yeah, Reaper, Aileron, smash into the back. And uh, yeah, we go from there. Lovely. Toot toot, bonk. Or is he going to stop and stress himself? See, with the Reaper, it's, um, it's quite nice to stress yourself early, uh, to slow yourself down. If you want to go fast, that's fine, but uh, yeah. Alrighty. So I can already tell he's taking his time in his maneuvers. Uh, this is going to be a short turn game. So bear in mind, what is it? We started at 50 with dials down, so not including planning phase for this turn. We've taken about four minutes to play. Uh, so because of that, I know that um, I cannot risk getting a ship hurt too early uh, because I'm not the fastest player in the world, he's not the fastest player in the world, so we're not going to have too many turns. Um, so, Ahsoka. Add two things to the ability queue. Shenanigans that you can do with Ahsoka. Fine tuned and Ahsoka. Do fine tuned first, then activate. Ahsoka uh, to boost plow. <laughs> um, I always say this uh, long way round when I do this for the first time uh, because it confuses a lot of people. So Ahsoka will spend both of her force to do the fine tune boost, then plow will do a boost uh, from Ahsoka's ability because she can add both to the queue, then do her boost, and then because he's now at range one, do that. Um, and then I'll lock an asteroid because I'm getting my target locks up for um, uh, getting my target locks up for when I have chopper just in case I need to uh, chuck a jam token on one of my ships um, so I will fine tuned roll and then lock the asteroid there we go, uh, Anakin will do one of those, he will do one of those, um, then chopper a charge so he gets an evade and a stress. The problem with this list is it has so many things going on after you move, so it's, it's a lot to keep up with, it's a lot to keep up with. 
and hey to uh, Firecast as well, good to see you guys. Uh, right then. Okay, uh, that is that. Um, end of round. Uh, regen. So all of the force in the world. Uh, Ahsoka gets herself back up to one force. Um, yeah. And we'll see where we go. Uh, I think we're going to stall out for a little bit more here. Um, I don't really want to... Yeah, I don't, I don't really need to... Uh, allowed to come into me. So yeah, there we go. Hey Mark. Uh, once again guys who are just joining, I am on a five minute delay, so feel free to ask questions in the chat. Uh, the reason I'm on delay is this is a league game and it would be unfair on my opponent to be playing live and having you guys bothering me. So, you know, uh, we're going to do that. So there we go, one of those and one of those. And then we're all good. Cool. Nice thing is we're fast on dials, so this might actually go a few turns. Um, yeah, let's see what we'll see what happens. Uh, let's get rid of that, and let's get that, that up. Uh, let's set the timer. So, uh, are we going to? Am I going to bother setting a timer? I'm curious. I kind of want to set the timer for as close to hour and fifteen as I can get. So we've had seven minutes. Uh, so we will. Do uh, one. Uh, oh, it's uh, da, 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 so sixty plus. What is that? Uh, it'll be seven by the time it gets around to it. So uh, sixty-seven minutes start. I'm curious to see how close we end up getting to that, based on turn counts. Um, cool. Okay, he's he's coming down. He's he's gonna maybe take the bait. I don't like how those tie fighters are laid out. It makes me twitch that they're too close to each other. Mm. Hey Taco, good to see you. Good to see you. Right, let's uh, let's see what we get here. With the with the way that this swarm is going, he's just he's allowing me to get a flank on, which is nice. Um so I'm curious to see what happens. Ideally I want to kill the Reaper first because Sloan is a pain. Uh we'll see we'll see where we go. I'm uh yeah. I'm curious. Um, where is this Reaper going? Um, so he's probably going straight over that cloud next turn because the barrel roll won't fit. Yeah. So he's messed up his interceptor. But that's fine. He's got gas clouds. There's no real consequences to his actions. Um, I'm not in a position to punish, and even if I was, I'd be running into the uh, into the face of it. Um, why is the Sloan Swarm showing up now? Don't know. Maybe people decided to play it. It's never been a bad list. Um, I think people are playing more extended, so that's probably why you're seeing it a bit more. And as they get back into extended, they're trying um, new and fun stuff. So that's probably why uh, Ahsoka, yeah, we'll just do a normal boost straight. Uh, Plo, we'll do a one bank and then do a fine tuned boost and a barrel roll backwards eh, to there for a force because he needs to do one of those. Uh, Anakin will do one of those. So clear, stress, fine tuned roll then chop. Uh, so there we go. Lovely stuff. Anakin now has a chopper fully active. He will be taking jam tokens from this turn onwards. Uh, do I prefer TTS or Vassal? Good question. Um, I'm still on the Vassal train. Vassal is better. Um, but... TTS is fun, you know. I like TTS. There we go. go on, let's move that a bit so you guys can see it. Let's chuck that on there. We're not using that space yet. I'll move it if I need to. Um, yeah, I. Yeah, I. Uh, 
Um, so yeah, I've I like TTS. Uh, I think they're doing really really well. Shout out to the TTS mods for um, slowly getting it more accurate. That's been my biggest gripe with it uh, at this point. Um, I find that TTS has problems, not massive accuracy problems, just little ones. Uh, having the auto range now on the front is good. Uh, they've the target lock versus the um, front arc differences in distance uh, that Vassal got rid of about two years ago is still a thing um, so you've just got to be careful of little things like that um, but I can't fault it for it looking pretty like TTS is beautiful it really is um, so yeah I mean you you get what you pay for I suppose I mean you've it's weird because the obviously the X-Wing mod is free but um, yeah, X X Wing mods free, but TTS you have to pay for it. So you know. Um, the it's interesting, Mark. The Sloan Swarm is a really. Everyone thinks it's super good, but just the idea of flying swarms is hard to do. Like flying swarms is not an easy thing to do, at all. It's um, it's tricky. And if you're going to fly a swarm well, then that takes practice. And that doesn't change just because Sloane's there. And I think with it gives your opponent a, uh, <laughs> a Belinda in five minutes. Um, yeah, I think it gives your opponent a interesting uh, target. The, f the fact that you can just go, right, I know I need to kill Sloane first. Uh, actually helps people sometimes so you know that's that's an interesting thing um, in terms of um, how good it is I, I think Sloan is a ridiculously good upgrade um, but it's very very difficult to keep Sloan safe uh, it also has to go on a different ship um, so like you can't just play your standard swarm but you've got to play a reaper you've got to play um, a decimator but really with a decimator you don't have as many points for stuff so it has to go on a cheap crew carrier uh, so reaper or shuttle is probably the best call uh, yeah so we'll see right I'll get the um, let's get the view account off the bottom of the board as well let's let's check that over there instead that'll do there we go so um, yeah I and Rick, I really like Chopper. Chopper is the best part of this list. He's so, so good. Um, yeah, like, you, you, people severely underestimate how fantastic Chopper is. Um, now, the other thing to note is look at where Plo is and look at what Ahsoka is about to do. Uh, I said I wasn't going to be able to get a, um, a ship in on that interceptor but I totally am if he decides that he's going to go straight over that cloud then Plo is getting an advanced boost into a 5 forward and a target lock right to the face um, and I'm going to enjoy it quite a lot uh, Plo doesn't really mind taking a little bit of stress early I'm probably not going to kill him hey Dutch good to see you um, but yeah Chopper Chopper's great Chopper's super good uh, you'll notice I haven't bothered taking a target lock with Anakin because it's just going to get jammed off. I'm going to have a couple of turns with Anakin where I just end up getting um, jammed every turn, but that's fine because I'm not getting shot. Oh, this is fun. Go on, barrel roll to the right. I dare you. So this is interesting. He's completely sw splitting up his swarm. Um, I'm curious. I'm curious to see how well he does it. I'm also curious to see where number two goes. I can't really go into the Jaws of Death here with Plo. I mean, I can, but I shouldn't. I'm tempted to damage a ship. I mean, I can win this game just by half-pointing things. But you never know. Um, just to clarify for people, that timer up at the top is not the actual timer. Uh, we are playing an hour plus one, so this game will finish, uh, for you guys, uh, this game will finish at uh, whatever hour it is, 55 minutes, and then two more rounds. Um, that's what will happen. For everyone else, uh, for us, 
it's, as there's not a five minute delay it will finish on 15 and then two more rounds but I'm, I'm approximating if we have an actual hour and 15 minute game how close do we get so a bit of a cluster bump going on here uh, stressed his reaper out for no good reason apart from probably wanting to slow him down uh, but because he crashed that TIE fighter it's not at the right angle so ooh I, I don't know what that term was uh, hello is it is it Boise? I, I have a name whose uh, who's surname uh, a name a friend whose surname is uh, is Bowsy, and that's how you pronounce it. So I don't know if it's pronounced the same. You give me a phonetic spelling. Why not? Hello from the uh, Idaho anyway. Right then. So <laughs> uh, right. So Plo's going to get shots this turn. Um, I don't really want to come into the middle here. I considered it because I can just pre-boost him, but uh, let's see what happens. So, um, Ahsoka will uh, action Poe. Not Poe, Plo. God, if you could run Ahsoka with Poe, that'd be amazing. Uh, I'm tempted to just land on the rock and boost, but I want a better position here. Uh, so, Basically, Poe in this case is playing bait, so I'm going to go and do one of those. Um, at which point, so I'll spend that on Ahsoka, and then she will do a boosty thing. Uh, I think the curve will fit. Yeah, loads of room. Um, it's important to keep track of when because it's difficult to to type and do this at the same time so um he's done one of those what am i going to get uh i can get a pretty good flanking position if i go straight uh which is probably more worthwhile than getting a shot this turn if i'm there then i'm going to get a shot oh i'm getting now i'm going to get a shot on number 3 that's probably worth it and i can draw i can really draw him up still Oh, so many choices. Yeah, yeah, boost. So, do the fine tuned boost and then lock. Uh, annoying. Ah, well, I get a free target lock. Um,. I'm going to take a target lock on the interceptor for a later date. I was hoping I'd get better shots there. That was a big mistake boosting. Um, it gives me a bad position for next turn, but I can't get out of it, and it it baits him. I'm not going to bother spending this target lock. Um, <coughs> um, ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. We'll see. Right, and then Anakin... Uh, Anakin will just do the two forwards, clear his stress, um, gets a jam, doesn't care, um, barrel roll, there we go, set, okay, plow into the interceptor, there's no way I'm spending a target lock here, versus many many dice, I don't have something that isn't obstructed by the gas cloud, so just okay I get three hits the target lock is just for later uh, sorry Mark I'm not gonna move my chat um, it's more or less out of the way if it gets in the way I will move it I'll move it slightly just so it's not fully in the way there we go sorted um, yes we'll go from there dials and fours nice Uh, you are correct, Missing Link. They really didn't know what they were doing when uh, they made Chopper because Chopper is broken. He is absolutely broken to sin. But apparently no one seems to notice. Uh, I played Nathan Idy with Chopper at Worlds. It was one of the two games I uh, I lost. That, by the way, you should totally watch that. I know I'm plugging my own channel here, but oh my god, the ending to that game. Go and watch that game. It's the very first one on my Worlds Run uh, playlist. 
and it is utter nonsense. Really good game. Nathan deserved to win it. Um, I'm not unhappy about losing at all. He uh, he flew really well. He outflew me. Um, and I learned a lot about Chopper in that game and how not to deploy asteroids. Uh, but, uh, yeah, it's a really interesting game. Really interesting game. Uh, right, so Anakin isn't stressed anymore, which is great. Plo is in trouble, uh, but not too much trouble. I don't think he minds too much. I feel like Ahsoka can get him out of said trouble this turn. I can barrel roll both ways. <coughs> the thing is, I re what I really want to do is I really want to nail down that Reaper. So what I'm expecting, I'm expecting this guy to come and do a hard one up here and then do a boost with a focus. Uh, he needs to threaten for later. Um, this one is probably doing a three bank and a barrel roll uh, to block things. Maybe, unsure. Uh, this guy is might try the hard one. Uh, this guy's definitely doing a hard one. Uh, unless he's crazy, and probably a hard three from this man, or maybe just a hard two and sit there. Don't know. Um, the interceptor's gonna go the long flank and threaten Anakin. Uh, so knowing that, Anakin does a hard one. Uh, Plo probably still dials in a five forwards. I think Ahsoka boosts him again this turn, and uh, then it's her turn to be bait. Uh, so what three bank? there. Three bank puts you there, straight boost puts you there, should be in range one. Shouldn't be a problem. Um, if I can't straight boost then that is a problem but I should be okay, should be fine. Um, <coughs> yeah, that'll be fine. Uh, in which case I think Plo just uh, Plo dives in. He'll get, stu get stuck into the middle. I need a bit of a distraction to get Anakin into the middle of that swarm so Let's try that. Let's see what happens. Uh, I'm not really into the, doing this as a bit of a boring game. Um, oh. Yeah, I am indeed playing Space Jam on the weekend. Sorry, that was a bit late. Uh, but hey, you're on delay. It doesn't matter. Um, yeah, Space Jam on the weekend should be fun. Uh, staying up until probably four in the morning because I'm expecting delays. It's going to be great. Ugh. Nice to play some X-Men though. Smack up some Americans. Hello, guys. You ready? Can you guess what I'm playing? You'll find out. You'll be fine. Um, ooh, he's fully committing. Good to know. All right, let's. Uh, we're gonna have to move that somewhere. Tell you what, let's let's do this. Let's get that over there. Let's get that. Uh, I'm actually. I don't like I don't like hiding the vassal chat, but I think I'm gonna hide the vassal chat for a for a bit. Uh, so get rid of you. There we go. Just so you can see your chat. There we go. Lovely. Um, okay. Right. So focus and link to a barrel probably back this way. Oh, he's barrel rolling left. Oh, he's going for Anakin. Okay. Okay. Um, How close is the Reaper to being off the board? Uh, Reaper's fine. Oh yeah, sorry, you guys. Oh, that's that's annoying. You guys can't quite see that. Let me let me do this instead, uh, so that you guys can can see the bottom of the board. I've got my window spacing slightly off. There we go. That's better. Fit height. That's how close the Reaper is to being off the board. Not that far. He's fine. Um. Right. Uh, no, I barrel rolled Plo, and then I boosted him afterwards. Um, Rick. I said I might boost him, and then I decided to barrel roll him instead. Otherwise, I'm fairly sure my opponent would have called me out on that. <laughs> oh, that's a good point. He didn't roll for strain. Ah, uh. oh, well. See, this is why five minute delays are good. <laughs> this could be interesting. I I think, oh man, I'm gonna get away with shooting the Reaper straight in the face with no repercussions. As long as the barrel fits, I'm fairly sure it fits. It should be fine. 
it should be fine. This is going to be beautiful. Just, just, I'm, I'm going to enjoy this. I'm going to enjoy this a lot. Just watch how this inevitably crashes and burns as I fail to get into range for Ahsoka with the, uh, with the boost. <laughs> oh God. Okay. Uh, so. Great way to start off a turn. This could go really well or really bad. Um, here's a question. So that'll put me there. Will that get me range one? I'm fairly sure that's range one. Yeah, it's easy, easy range one. Easy range one, easy clap. So we go to there, spend two force, and then we roll plow. Let's see. Now I'm gambling on this fitting because it's very close. And if it doesn't fit, I'm screwed, but everything's fine because it'll fit. There we go, no problems. Everything is fine and wholesome. Uh, so we're gonna go as far forwards as possible. Don't think it's gonna matter. Uh, and we're just going to crash into a tie. Um, I'm going to barrel roll away because Ahsoka is nonsense. She doesn't have any mods. I could have taken a focus, but I prefer being further. Um, Plo, donk, we'll just crash. He'll, uh, he'll stay there, not getting shot by anything, which is absolutely fine. Uh, he might get shot by the Interceptor. And then Annie, hello Annie, will... Annie kind of wants to play with that Reaper. See, okay, this is this is the problem. Right now, um, if I barrel roll to here, then what's going to happen is there is going to be a angry interceptor all up in my grill next round, and I don't. I, I might be able to get away with the bank, but it's close. Uh, how many tie fighters are turning my way? Not too many. I think I can get away with that. I think that's fine. I can jam them anyway. Um, so, uh, B roll with force and focus. Let's do that. I may have rolled into range but I think I'm in a good position there so I think it's worth it. So don't spend the force. This is this is why someone else is on the table to remind me of things. Uh, don't spend the force. Jam, 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 jam. Where is second edition? There it is. Jam. Sorted. Okay. Plow into the Reaper. Uh, we get three dice against two dice. See what happens. Just the one. No consequences. Ah oh, well. I flew well. Um, cool. Right, I'll reach out in a second. I should actually pay attention to things. Um, your shot's fairly sure Ahsoka's. Uh, Ahsoka might actually get shot here. I may have just messed up this turn. Uh, nope, she's fine. And he's getting shot, but you know. Right, let's let's just do this. Just gonna put that there. Oh really? That's frustrating. See, you know when I said that I fairly sure 
that it'll be fine, it wasn't fine. Uh, that's like almost 45 points on my list gone because I decided to get greedy. Uh, I mean, I still think it was the right decision, but it's a bit annoying that I took that much damage. I need to be there to wreck Sloan. Right, um, dials and force. I see a lot of K-turns in my future. Right, uh, that's fine, that's fine, and that's fine. Cool. And I should remember Jam, because I am a sponge. Hey, Phil. Or oh, Philip, should I say. It's good to see you. Um, right, dials. Doesn't matter that Anakin has taken damage. He's not half yet, which means if I just don't get shot, we are okay. How do I not get shot? This guy coming in there, doing a barrel rod. No, he's gonna he's gonna come in for the for the blocks. Uh, so I think I think I play this one slow and try and get him next turn. Um, can he? So he goes to there. He does a boost. He does barrel. He can get me. So I th I think I'm gonna try a three bank. You know. Plo is just gunning for Reaper Town. Uh, what can block me? Nothing can block me. Don't think anything, anything can block me. No. This guy can't really get me. He's not going to K turn. So realistically, if the Reaper is coming down here, he's either going to run and try and shoot Anakin, which is a definite possibility. Anakin's turning away. I've got to turn away. I can't risk taking any more damage. Let's just play bait for a little bit longer. Plo is going to win this game for me if I just kill the Reaper. So, um, yeah, Plo comes in here. Uh, Reaper does a one bank and a hard one. Cool. I can get out of that. He goes to there and does the hard one to there. Absolutely fine. Um, if he goes one bank sloop, that's a bit more interesting. I'm fairly sure the Reaper does not have a K turn. Where's my Reaper? No, it's got one sloops and that's it. So if he's feeling ambitious, he can do a sloop. So I would one bank and sloop down there if it was me. So in which case, let's assume he's the best player possible. So to there and then to there. What position does that put me in? What can I do to, to make that easier to counter? I can get him next turn, I think. So I think, unless he does a two bank and a boost to block me, I think I actually do a hard one and put some damage into the interceptor here. Is he going to K-turn everything? Seems unlikely. There's Ahsoka there just waiting for things. So Ahsoka, yeah, five forwards. It means I can still pick on this TIE fighter. Uh, Plo. If Plo does a hard two and he decides to come in and block me, then Plo is screwed. Um, I think with Plo being where Plo is, Anakin can actually uh, try and pick on things. I don't want to kill something, I just want to maim it badly. Alright, uh, so two bank to there. Barrel roll and a boost will block a lot of my options. So if I do a hard one, I might not even get into range of something to jam it. If I do a three bank, I will. So I'm taking a shot, but it's only a focused shot. I think that's fine. Uh, let's try that. I know I need to kill the Reaper, but I can't really get at it this turn without jousting it. Uh, and Plo doesn't really want to do that. Uh, I also think that Reaper might be coming up here to play with Annie. Uh, is a three bank a bit more acceptable? Two bank? I could just hide behind the gas cloud? One bank. One bank kind of works. One bank. One bank and barrel roll. Get behind the gas cloud for the inevitable K-turns. So many choices. So many choices. Um, I want to fly forward again, but I also want to change up my moves. If I go slow this turn, I think it's going to mess with him. But I need shots on that Reaper, and if he has K-turned, then it will be good for me to try and 
get shots onto him. So if I do a three bank, I can then barrel and boost around the back and get a good shot. Oops. Don't change the dial on the table. Uh, okay. Right, let's uh, let's read some of this. Uh, sit right next to you when we play Nathan. Ah, uh, yes. No, I remember that, man. I remember that. <laughs> oh, yeah. There's a, there's a lot of nonsense with uh, shenanigans. Ah, uh, it's fine. Uh, if I didn't want to take damage, I shouldn't have been there, Nick. I shouldn't have been there. Uh, what I do want to do is I do want to get Anakin and Plo uh, tag teaming into a angry reaper so you know that's a that's a good idea for me to be where I am and it's a good thing I changed my dial because you know Plo's not gonna be there and if I'd have done the hard one I would have been well I, I wouldn't have been getting shot but I think the hard one would have fit, but I would have to spend both my actions repositioning and then I would have got shot by TIE fighters. It all would have been bad. It would have been a bad situation. So this is now a much better situation. Okay, oh please, please boost up towards Plo. Please do it. Go on. Focus roll. Ah, oh, coward. Coward, coward, coward. I don't think I'm going to be able to get my jam off this turn. Might do. Depends which way he's rolling. He's obviously rolling left. I might be able to get past him if he rolls far forwards. Yeah, that's going to be close. I think I can boost past him. I might even get the jam onto him as well, which would be good. We'll see when my three bank lands me. Uh, it may be a case of three bank boost into range and then barrel all out of his arc. Uh, we'll see where this reaper comes to. Um, you're absolutely correct, Paul. He can block, but I've made him choose, so he can't ignore Anakin. If I'd have just rolled up the board, then he would have turned everything into plow. Uh, now, he's turned everything into plow anyway but this guy is over here and it's forcing him to make decisions that otherwise he might not have made um, so the reason for that is yes it shuts down some of my options but there is enough options for me to get out of trouble um, without uh, taking too much from it um, at the end of the day I'm going to win this game by trading uh, into the Imperials so yeah we'll see what happens <laughs> There's the K turn. See, that's the thing though, because what's coming at me this round? Coming at me is two interceptors and maybe a Reaper. I crash one interceptor, I jam another. Where is he going? I mean, I can kind of see it, but fair enough. Well, it doesn't take any uh, consequences from that one, so all fine. Right. Mm, 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 mm. Boop boop. Cool. So fairly sure the boost gets me out here, so I'm gonna do that. And take one of those off me. I should probably target lock him, but I yeah. Um now this is going to be close, but I think I can roll out of his arc. It's going to be close though. We will see. Roll far forward as possible. Yeah, we go. <sighs> right then. Um, so we do the force to roll. I'm going to focus here because I'm getting shot. Um, so focus or lock is 
exactly the same odds. I already have a look on the guy back over here, so if I take a focus, uh, then I get a pretty good chance of coming out of this relatively unscathed. So let's see. Uh, right, one of those. Mm. Not in a good position to get out of that one. So remember jam because I'm a sponge. That is probably range one. So do I want to barrel on it to range one to remove him of his friendly little focus? Probably because it means I'm not getting shot by a Reaper. Actually right now I'm not I'm only taking shots on the Reaper through the gas cloud. So I can boost close to the cloud and be fairly sad when everything hurts me next turn. I can risk a barrel roll and maybe end up at, at range one. I should end up at range one. Uh, or I can possibly maybe get out of arc. I can't boost out of arc. Um, if I do a curvy boost to there, and then a barrel roll, I just end up getting shot by the Reaper and the Interceptor as well. So... I think I'm just going to stay at range 2 and count my blessings. Um, or I barrel roll for position. He's already rolled. What did he roll last time? Hit, hit, crit. So... From there to there to there. It's so very, very close. Like uh, I don't really wanna I don't really wanna call that one. No, the shots the shots obstructed. So um, fine. Uh, yeah, fine tuned roll. Because I think. Uh, check for chopper. Nope. Oh well. That's my own fault. I didn't want to get obstructed, so that may have lost me the game, but we'll see what happens. I need to kill Sloane. Alright, uh, not that one. That's the wrong one. That's the right one. I picked up the wrong token. Cool. 3v2. Not bad. Okay. Uh, bah, 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 bah. I always doubt the world champion. Hey, blanks. Always doubt me. I'm just. I think the trade-off is worth it if I can get Sloan off, um, because Sloan is relatively expensive, and he's taking two shields. Uh, Sloan is taking two shields. Uh, where's my Reaper? There is my Reaper. One, two. Uh, Sloan is forty-eight, uh, which is more than Mannequin. Alrighty. Bloop. Spend that focus. Spend that focus for my life. Are the dice showing up? Yes, dice showing up. Well, that'll do. See? Totally worth it. Totally worth it. Okay, uh, Reaper on two. I'm okay with this. I'll see how much an damage Anakin takes for his troubles. Um, yeah. This could hurt. This could hurt a lot. But there's only one thing shooting me. He got full hits last time. I didn't get any evades. Fuck, well, I got a single. That was a lie. It was a blatant lie. Let's see what happens. <sighs> Important thing to remember uh, is we only have 15 minutes until two turns to go. So, if I kill this Reaper, and it's looking like I'm going to kill this Reaper, Ahsoka might do it next turn. Um, then uh, 
Now, roll and evade, you bastard. <laughs> you better roll a squiggle. I don't want to kill him. It's, uh, it's, there we go. Yep. So, one health TIE Fighter, we're doing okay. The problem is when Anakin just dies to a single shot. Which very much could happen. Oh, Plo. Plo, you naughty, naughty man. So he's taking a shot through a gas cloud. Right. Um, this is from Megas Vassal League. Yes, Dutch. Uh, Epionic, I think his Discord is Leon. Okay, gets the four, turns that into an evade. Um, yeah, I think his name is Leon. Uh, Ahsoka is very much safe. Okay. This could sting. So, I'm getting halved here. Let's see if it's worth it. Totally worth it. I'm okay with that. I'll use a shield for the position I put Sloan in. Importantly, Anakin is in a m much better position for next turn um, than he would be if I'd have stayed put. Because if I'd stayed put, I was getting blocked. That's the reason I rolled. Um, so there's two reasons I rolled. One was to get the unobstructed shot on the Reaper, because otherwise Anakin wouldn't have done any damage. Uh, the other one was to get a good position uh, because right now, again, I've got a few different options, uh, but he has to consider Anakin. Whereas if I was there, uh, the Reaper is just coming in here. It's just going to sit there and mean that I can't go any way this way. And that means all of my options down here will get screwed by this guy. So, uh, I now need to kill an Interceptor somehow. Um, uh, sorry, a, a Reaper. So if he comes up this way, Ahsoka should have him. Uh, so let's see where we go from here. So, Plo and... Annie is staying on two because I spent the force. Okay, cool. So, points wise, where are we? Uh, we are now down to two on this guy. And that's Academy number three, is like that. And Annie is all shields down. 11 points to lead. Cool. I can actually do this just by murdering that TIE fighter and then we'll be drawing. Oh no, then we'll, we'll be equal. Oh, that's a, that's a very good point. I can just kill that TIE fighter. Need to kill Sloan first though. Um, Alright, Ahsoka, where are you going? This guy's probably going to try and block this interceptor is a problem. Three bank? I'm feeling the three bank here don't think he can do much about it, so I think Ahsoka does the three bank, because uh, I need to get in on that Sloan. Um, if we are Plo, does the hard one fit? I think the hard one fits. So I think we do the hard one. Um, problem I've got is number two. Where does number two end up? Where does the Reaper end up, realistically? Where, does the, where is the Reaper going? What's the Reaper's dial? Let's have a look at the Reaper's dial. Uh, Reaper has uh, blue wise, one one banks and one forwards, two forwards, three forwards. He could just be getting three forwards. He could decide to because he can't turn because his turns are red. He could do a two bank or a three bank up here. He could run away up this way. If he runs away up this way, Soaker is going to get him. Is she going to kill him in a single shot though? Maybe not. Um, I think he has to hit the cloud. Yeah, he's hitting the cloud, so he's not getting an action. Realistically, what I want to do with Anakin is I want to do a bank up here. If I do the three bank, I think I'm going to hit the rock. Does that matter? Mm, maybe not. I've got the force to barrel roll. Plo really wants to kill this guy. So I think Plo does a hard one and just rolls onto target, whoever he's got, and just tries to initiative kill that man. Because Anakin's going to shoot his focus off. Uh, no matter where he ends up, so Plo does one of those, he can always barrel off the cloud if he needs to. 
No, play, play does I have one bank. I'm not going to be able to get the... Or do I just sloop? No, and too many risks if I sloop. Yeah, let's zoom in on this. Um, hard one to there. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna clip that. I'm gonna clip my nubs. So he's got to do the one bank, um, and therefore Anakin. I think um, too hard puts you there. Are you staying there? You're probably not staying there. If you do stay there, I get shot by all the Tie Fighters in the world. <laughs> damn, 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 damn. I think Flo has to sleep. Or he could just not kill the tie this turn. If he commits to blocking, he commits to blocking. Do the hard one. Stay put, range three. Jam something. Do a really fast maneuver. Don't end up in a corner. Do the two bank do the hard one. Hard two, yeah, do the hard one. Okay, cool, let's do it. If he blocks it, then this guy isn't shooting anyone, and that's fine. And Anakin is far enough away from TIE Fighters that his force should be able to keep him relatively safe. <sighs> Maybe, we'll see. Shocking move is shocking. Shocking nobody. Hmm. Yep, there goes Mr. TIE Fighter. Takes a strain, always nice. Okay. We're probably getting three turns out of this. What's the time? 2.44. Yeah, about right. It's about three turns in this kind of game. So many choices. Okay, so he's going for Anakin. As expected. Let's see what he gets. Oh. See, the thing is, he hasn't got any actions. So he's got a lot of shots on Anakin, but no actions. I'm going to go ahead and guess that Reaper is just banking in. Uh. Seems that way anyway. Well, Anakin gets to escape, unless he barrel rolls. He might barrel roll. <laughs> yeah, you got you got a lot of choices here. Damn. Ah oh, well. At least I stay a long way away from all those TIE fighters. I'm assuming he's rolling left. Oh, he just moved his focus out of the way. Is he rolling to the right? Oh, he's rolling right. It's going to be a sad interceptor. Well, they're showing that. Flo isn't in the happiest of places. Yep. Well, Anakin gets to kill the Reaper. Isn't that nice? Um. Okay. Cool. Well, this makes life interesting. All right then. So, Ahsoka does one of those. Um, I think I have to stay put. I cannot risk. Although saying that, that intercept can block me wherever the hell I go next turn. Um. Uh, I don't really want to fill up the board with this much, this many ships. I need to be able to nail down Sloan if I miss him. So I'm going to do the one boost. 
get the focus and go there. Um, plow will end up there. And I think just get out of trouble. Probably. Uh, I've got TIE Fighters with no mods shooting at me. I could just focus and shoot him. Um, if I barrel roll as far backwards, so um, fine tuned roll. Yeah, because if I if I just kill this guy and I kill the TIE Fighter, I should be up even if Anakin dies, uh, because they're expensive. So uh, I haven't actually done the points, but I should be able to get enough back from it. Um, yeah, fine tuned roll as far back as possible, and then do the curvy boosty thing into there to shoot him up the side. <sighs> right then. Um, so I don't have the Reaper, I don't think. So if I don't have the Reaper, I'm going to need to do the barrel roll. Does the barrel roll fit? I don't think it does. Choices. Right, that's. Uh, yeah, I don't have it. I don't have a Reaper. It's not quite. It's like right on the corner. So let's put this big so I can actually see my sizes. Um, does the roll even fit? I think the roll fits. Should be fine. Probably. Okay, uh, try the roll. He hasn't got any mobility, so you know. Do the barrel rolly thing. Um, fine tuned. Yep, there we go, that's fine. And focus. Um, sorry, jam into interceptor. Uh, there we go. So just clears the focus there, and Anakin will focus because he needs it for the defense. Let's see what we can do. Might have actually given him a gas cloud. So, 4v0, because he has to jam. There it is. And I get to keep the focus for defense, which is pretty important. Uh, that's not bad. Okay, I can kill things now. <laughs> this is genuinely how you got to think about this. So, um, that is a dead Sloan. Sloan is down. Let's see what happens. Oh wow, proper dead. <sighs> uh, right, Plo, 4v3. I could take out the interceptor in one shot here. Um, this is a good example of when dice go in your favour. Uh, I'm so genuinely sorry when you watch this back, man. Oh my what? Yeah, that's... That's... Uh, I like, yeah, I owe him a beer. That's, that's rough. That's just, that's just really rough. Into the single hull tie. Yeah, let's let's do that. Oh boy, he deserves to evade here, but he only got two. So that's a dead tie fighter. Well, that was what I said could happen this turn. I wasn't actually expecting it to happen. Uh, turns out. Suddenly, uh, I just rolled better. But I did also put myself in a good position. Um, 
Anakin could still die, so let's see. How many points am I ahead? Yes, if Anakin dies, I'm still alive. I'm still ahead, uh, which is exactly what I needed. Um, that was my thinking here, is that if I just made sure that I could do enough damage to him, he wouldn't be able to pull it back. Um, if I get that Reaper down and then kill a ship or two, uh, even if I lose one of mine, as long as I made sure it was Plo, then it was fine. Um, yeah, that just... Fire. Um, two dice. <laughs> what the... what the actual... I think that's range one. Oh, it's just range two. I'm, I am a loss for words. I'm, I'm just, I, I don't even know what to say to that. Oh, I'm plow dodged him. Oh my god, this is. Uh, two turns. That is absolute and utter. I don't even know what to say to that. You, I don't. I don't think you can say anything to that. That is just pure, pure nonsense. So, what should have happened that turn is Anakin probably would have come out on one health, and I would have killed the Reaper. I would have killed a Tie Fighter and damaged an Interceptor. So we should have two Interceptors and three Ties against a severely damaged Anakin, and my two fully healthy Jedi. That would have been interesting. Uh, as it is, now it's not interesting. Uh, this is pretty much game over uh, right now and I'm <sighs> yeah that's um that's a thing Wow. F in the chat for Epionics Dice. Oh my. Yep. I um I yeah. When you watch this back, man, I feel for you. You've you've flown a pretty good game so far and that was that was rude. Um, okay, I need to work out what I'm going to do. Well, Anakin is going to do nonsense, because he's going to do a 5k and then just laugh as he gets to do actions, because, you know, there'll probably be a TIE fighter in my bullseye. Um, I feel like Ashoka needs to do the running thing. Um, Plo might also do a sloop, but I think realistically Plo is going to fight forwards. Um, because he just needs to get out of there. Um, Ahsoka will... Oh, that's actually a very good question. I like the three bank here. I think the three bank actually works. Because with two repositions... I don't like the hard one. Hard one might get blocked. Uh, I like that. I'm going to stick with that. Because I can either run away or run in. Let's do that. That seems sensible. Yeah, I agree with you on that one, Missing Link. I think the, the biggest uh, thing here is that the ties haven't had modifications. Um, and it was clear that the Reaper was going around the edge. So it was easy to pin the Reaper. Um, uh -huh, here comes the stream chat. <laughs> uh, so for... Uh, now I get to watch five minutes in the past, you guys are reacting to whatever that turn was. Enjoy it. It's beautiful. Uh, at least we know we only have two turns of pain left, but oof. Oof and oof and oof. Yeah, I don't know. I've So as a genuine thing, I've I've forced myself to fly Jedi for this because I dislike, um, I dislike them greatly. I don't mind the Delta 7s, but I really, really dislike CLT Jedi. I think they're bad. Um, I think they're really bad. I mean, they're not, obviously, but I find they just explode. So, you know, give or take.
give or take. K turns, K turns, all of the K turns. At least I'm going to get to clear my stress here. I'm probably also going to get to one-shot this friendly neighborhood Batman over here. So, um, Ahsoka does a three-bank. Um, isn't staying there. Fine-tuned boost and focus. Zoom. Ahsoka does things. Uh, Plo does not want to play this game anymore. Um, so he should have done that. Uh, no, he should be like that. So he is going to go to there. Um, boost, barrel roll, ready to come back next turn, or just do a sloop. Uh, I like giving my opponent choices. Okay. Um, so jam the tie three, clear stress, fine tuned boost and block. Because why not? So clears the stress, that's one force, fine tuned boost, that's the second force, target lock, that's the third force. Alrighty then. Uh, let's see what happens. I'm hoping that Ahsoka can carry on killing ties. Uh, Anakin will roll four, he will reroll that one with the target lock, and then he'll spend his force to one-shot a TIE Fighter, because that's what he does. Oh, TIE Fighter survives! Interesting. Right then. Okay. Um, so, Ahsoka to try and finish. 3v3. Oh, just sure. Sure. I do not have any force either. Oh boy. Yeah, I think um, for those of you watching this, uh, I don't want you to think that this was all good flying because it definitely wasn't. Um, I took some risks here, which I think you uh, you have to. Uh, when you're playing against a swarm, uh, and the dice very much um, came in for me, apart from that first shot where I lost two shields, like the rest of it has been entirely in my favour. Um, I hope Anakin dies here. Yeah, he deserved to. That's that's fine. Yeah, there's the balance. Um, yeah, that that should have happened because at some point the dice just say, "Well, no, you know what? That's that's fine." Cool. Uh, well, I guess I roll four dice and turn that one into evade, and I'm safe. Cool. Let's update some points. So that is number five got splatted. I think I killed number four earlier. That's fine, whichever. They're named randomly. It doesn't actually matter which TIE fighter dies. Um, and Anakin is gone because that plucky interceptor. I just realized interceptor one two shot Anakin. He gets a raise. He's doing good. 
Oh no, he, uh, uh, not quite. He did two shields earlier, didn't he? So and Anakin took a single shield from him. Oh. Three shots. He's doing well. He's doing well. Remember, jam you sponge. Ah oh, well, no more sponge. And I now just make sure that I don't lose the game. Basically, uh, he needs 35 to lead. If he half play, that's 32. If he kills Ahsoka, then he wins. Um, right. So I get one force back there and one force back there. So I think we're just going to go three bank. Probably. It seems like the sensible thing. Uh he's stressed, so even if he does a hard three, then eh. I'll do it just hard two up this way. I think I just hard two up this way. Hard two down there. I mean there's there's not that many choices. I could just five forwards. Five forwards seems sensible. <coughs> Uh, Plo is going to hard one, just in case. How many points do I need to win? 35. So if I 11 a TIE Fighter, that is 44. That is still not half Ahsoka. Um, I'm fairly sure that I am not going to lose Ahsoka. But, right. Sensible maneuvers. 5 forwards from Plo, just not playing the game anymore. Uh, Ahsoka will only get shot by one thing. So to do that, we do a 4 forward and then a boost with her ability. And therefore, it's incredibly unlikely that anyone even gets an arc on her and she will uh, and she dies so I think we should be fine there unless and I'm gonna say it now because it might happen uh, I get a crit to take the shield into a direct hit uh, to die you never know it might happen at the moment it's looking like it's gonna be a barrel roll to not get shot okay and carries on straining himself. Loves it. Should have done a hard one. Ah well. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah, I I like the I like the target locks to remind you of things. I, uh, it's a lot easier on the table because I... So I want to do a second video for this because I want to talk about things. Uh, I want to talk about slow play because this is a great game to talk about slow play actually. So hello guys, welcome. We shouldn't have a delay anymore so you should actually be able to uh, speak at me normally. Uh, what are your thoughts on slow play? Did you think that game was slow? Talk to me. What do you think? Because um, it was it was definitely a slow game, but there's been a lot of discussions on the UK group recently about slow play and stuff like that. So I'm curious to see what you guys think about it. It's uh, it's a curious situation, um, and yeah, I uh, I don't know whether or not you guys have any thoughts. Um, no, that's fine. Just what what do you th what do you think about slow play in general? Uh, I mean, I sh I should. Um, ah, I should have counted the um, the things. Ah, kicked everyone off Twitch. Um, well, this is the thing because slow play and playing slowly is a is a difference. Uh, oh yeah, I also came across from forty k. I I feel you, man. <laughs> I I know your pain. It's uh, like that guy is everywhere in 40k, it feels. Um, that was interesting. So Epionic is just saying that uh, I, he, I, he was hoping I'd chicken out. Um, yeah. I think threatening was the was the correct choice. Yeah, remembering the days of uh, of demons. Oh no, no. I remember getting my face smashed in by uh 
yeah, like the the game is over. Like you you play for half an hour out of a three hour game, and you've just lost, and you're done, and that's it. It's very very frustrating. Um, but yeah, we'll see. Yeah, five minutes off the stream. Um. So yeah. Right. Well, uh, well, we'll see where we go. Um, in terms of that, though, uh, yeah, that was that was fun. I enjoyed that game. Chopper is a monster, as always. Um, but in terms, yeah, in terms of 40k, man, I I hate playing against the demon blobs. Um, it's it's rough. And I, I I played a bit of a fluffy army. I played um, Night Lords, uh, Chaos Space Marines. So I had 30 Raptors, a few uh, Mauler Fiends. It was fun, but. Even though it's partially spec'd for competitive, it still got its face kicked in. I enjoyed uh, converting my own dreadnoughts to make them have jump packs, though. That was fun. But yeah, so, I mean, I, d I don't know. <coughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's like, oh, wait, win condition. Um, so, good question. Should the game have a minimum number of rounds? Um, yeah, that's a very good question. I, I'm i not sure. See, I think most of my games go... Hey, thanks for the follow. I think most of my games go about 10, 10, ga uh, 10 rounds. Let's count that one. Um, I can actually count this. I didn't do a log file, but I've got a, I've got a thing anyway. Um, yeah, so in terms of, in terms of rounds... What are we thinking? Uh, how many rounds was that? Let me let me count it. So Plo went five forwards, um, one bank boost barrel roll, two. Um, you might be a follower on Twitch and not YouTube. Uh, some people are, do one and not the other. Um, so then he barrel five forwards. That was turn three. Um, coming into there was turn four. Coming into here, putting all damage to the reef was turn five. Turn six um, was the one back of the barrel roll. Turn seven was the one bank. Turn eight, um, yeah, then I one banked it into and killed the interceptor. Um, turn eight, over six. So we had nine turns. Yeah, we had no, we had nine turns. So it was a few. It was a few. Um, Yeah, I think um, Avionic is just saying. Yeah, he's just saying that he he thought it was a good idea to ignore Ahsoka. Uh, correct, I think. Um, if you, oh, so Ahsoka's just bait. She enables the other two. If you can get her for cheap, um, then fine. But eh, yeah, really, you wanna you wanna kill Anakin or Plo as fast as possible. Um, yeah, nine nine is about average for me. I normally get nine or nine or ten turns. Nine or ten turns is is about standard. I should go back and count my world's games. I think I did at some point. I I realised I had about an average of ten turns per game, um, which is a reasonable. I think it's about what is that? Um, seventy five minutes, so seven and a half minutes per turn on average. It's not awful when you consider all the moving that I'm doing. Um, but yeah, um, that was yeah, that was fun. But I th I think, in terms of slow play, I I was definitely thinking that game. Um, so that was why it went a bit longer. Uh, it was good because like Epionic wasn't. Like he wasn't playing slow. Uh, he was actually playing pretty damn fast. He and he was thinking about his turn. So what I find is when I play against people, I slow them down quite a bit um, because I'm thinking about my moves quite a lot. They then go and think about their moves quite a bit. Um, so they're not slamming dials down at a rapid rate. They're actually going, oh, that's that's because I pride myself on my engagement. I think that's the best part of my game. Um, so I find that my opponents. Um, yeah, struggle a little bit with uh, 
going, oh, okay, I need to actually be careful here. Um, so that's when uh, usually you find that people slow down when they realize that they can get nailed and actually are in a little bit of trouble. Uh, that's annoying. Why is the dice window doing annoying annoying things and having its top cut off? I'm not sure why. We'll, we'll work that out later. Um, so yeah. Oh. Um. Oh, he's, um, yeah. So this, this is interesting because I, I deliberately timed this game. You can see the time has run out at the top. So talking about Tartan, do you like what the Vassal does? 60 minutes plus two rounds. Um, yeah, so you, you know when it's coming. Um, I actually quite like that. I think an hour and then plus two rounds would be a really good way of, of doing the end of the game. Um, in terms of actually doing it live um, do it just say okay there is the hour call you have two turns from this point uh, I really like that it, it's difficult to manage uh, in terms of people trying to take extra turns but it's I, I think people will get used to it um, yeah I, I, I really like uh, having played it a fair bit on Vassal now I really like the hour plus two and as you can see from the actual timer, it pretty much lined up with the 15 minute, um, uh, the 15 minutes extra. So it would have ended on that turn. Um, if anything, the plus two was a little bit faster um, than the 15 minutes at the end. It depends because normally the rounds right at the end of the game are fairly fast. Um, but that's probably just because I knew that I was going to run away. So that's fine. Um, but yeah, it's a. Yeah, I I like how it's changed. It used to be that Vassal did a three-hour game. Uh, I have one of those on stream. Um, it's uh, what was it? Uh, Fifteen rounds took almost four hours against Major Juggler and eight droids. So I was playing my world list, um, and he was playing his eight droids. So I had to be super careful because I know that with fifteen rounds, it's actually going to get to the point where I can probably kill the swarm. Because uh, that's quite a lot of rounds for Whispered Invader to do their business. So I took him down. It, I didn't even kill him. It took him down to three droids in the end. Uh, it's rough. Um, oh yeah, for sure. Um, so I I spend quite a lot of time looking at the clock. Uh, you'll you'll find that um, I tend to engineer the final turn quite well. Um, you you can manage the time in the last couple of turns relatively well, just be a little bit of slowing down and speeding up, um, and you do it in between. You don't do it right at the end or like when you're setting your dials. Uh, you think about things like when you're doing tokens, just a little bit longer than you normally would if you want to extend the time, and a little bit shorter than you normally would. Like you properly rush it if you need to get turns through, um, because it like if you do it over a period of three turns and you know it's coming. Um, then you've got to have that. It, it's like when you're planning the engagement at the start of the game. Where are you going to plan the engagement for? If you know where that's going to be, then awesome. Uh, and then you know how you're going to get there. If you know what the end of the game is going to look like, um, then you need to know how you're going to get there. And a lot of people that I've been talking to over the last day or two, uh, since Patrick Patrick brought out that um, playtime thing, uh, a lot of them were saying that, okay, uh, I, I hate slow play, etc, etc, but I think it's it's a part of the game, and for people who are looking to completely destroy their opponent's list, they are missing a win condition to the game, because most of my games will go to time. Uh, I think, unless I absolutely smash my opponent 200-0, or he smashes me, it's very rare that my games don't go to time. So, I think in that side of things having a plan for what should be left at the end of the game is something that's really important um, yeah it was a fun one Casper it was a really really fun game um, it was rough but yeah suddenly the dice just swung in my favor massively um, but yeah in terms of so say for example let's use this uh, this isn't a good one 
let's use a standard common popular list at the moment uh, Bobber and Two Fangs that's a very good example um, think about your um, think, think about your list and what you've got um, So yeah, so say for example you're playing this Jedi list, you're playing against um, Bobber and two Fangs. The Fangs are initiative 4, Bobber is initiative 5. Uh, and he has the bid on you because he's managed to chase some points off. Um, so what you need to do is you need to work out a scenario where at the end of the game you are in control and you're up on points. You know that Anakin is cheaper than Bobber, so if you kill Bobber and lose Anakin that is absolutely fine because Plo can kill the Fangs, he moves after them. Alternatively, you could kill the Fangs and not kill Bobber. So if you do that, and Anakin dies, you lose the game, because Bobber will kill Plo, or he'll halve him, or whatever. Also, if you have a look at points, 89 points for Anakin, if you manage to get it to the end of the game, where Bobber has, Bobber with um, the initiative bid on you, hasn't halved Plo and Ahsoka, that's not going to happen. So you're going into that game already on a losing footing, because the scenario that you're creating at the end of the game, you are going to be down on points. So you need to have a look at the game at the start and go, right, what do I need to kill to make sure that after however many rounds, and when I look at the end game scenario where the expected ships have died on my round on my side and my opponent's side, and you you can go, okay, this should die. You have to be brutal with yourself because you have to go, okay, I'm going to assume that my opponent is the best player in the world. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and assume that he will be flying his list really well. So if he does, what will die on my side? What will he go for first? What will he try and kill? And probably succeed at killing. So if he succeeds in killing that, what do I need to make sure uh, I get instead? So if it's the case of he's going to go for Anakin because he doesn't want Anakin chasing Bobber, if I assume that Anakin dies, I have to kill Bobber. Alternatively, you can go into the game knowing, okay, my opponent ha uh, is going to want to kill Anakin, so therefore I will bait with Plo and Ahsoka. I will try and get him to focus on those first, and if he's a less experienced player, maybe that will work. So I then get an end game scenario where I've maybe killed one Fang opportunistically, I've halved Bobber, but Anakin is still alive and he's killed Plo. Now because of that, I can then win that game because Anakin will murder Bobber. I can just get out of his range. So it's, it's important to think about these things, uh, not in terms of slow play and or why you go into time, but in terms of, okay, if I assume I'm going to time, if I just accept that fact, then if I am going to time, what am I going to end up with at the end? Now, Fly and Mighty, very interesting point there. Uh, played Guard in Bretonia, um, you wipe your opponent or you just lose. And some people will play those lists, like Andy Cameron doesn't like playing slow, likes wiping his opponent off the table. Scott Reed is another one. Um, and they fly lists that smash your opponent off the table. They fly these massive uh, alpha strikes, um, big swarms that will just, if you get the engagement right, your opponent loses half his list in a turn. And then two turns later he's just gone. Um, but you can make those lists slow down, as we just saw. Like if I got this wrong against the swarm, I just get wiped, right? Uh, so yeah, there's it's different ways of playing the game. I know that I am the like if if you are playing me um, in a card game, I'd be the control player. Uh, I would choke you out. I would enjoy setting up the board um, to to my liking. I would make sure that I I have all those win conditions. Uh, so yeah, it's it's knowing how you play the game. I think is important and working with that. I've developed a list uh, for the Imperials and this Jedi list. It works very very similar to it. You have a support piece like Grand Inquisitor. Ahsoka plays that. Uh, in this, she's coordinating instead of playing the, the bait in the tank, but you have that. Uh, you have your absolute hammer in Anakin. Uh, in mine, it can be either uh, either Whisper or Vader, but it's normally Vader. Uh, sorry, normally uh, Whisper. Um, it's like the sneaky one uh, that can get around things. That's definitely Anakin. Um, Plo is then just a consistent uh, ship that puts out good damage, like Vader. Um, Vader and Plo form a very similar role. They just roll in and do stuff. So when you're thinking about building your lists, that's the kind of thing that you should do. Um, I feel like I, I should do like a, I don't know, it's opinions from you guys. Do you, do you think um, it would be nice to have a video series on like, because I, I did a blog series on it about two years ago when it was still playing 1.0. Um, like how to build a list, how to deploy rocks, and how to um, 
what was the other one i forgot there's there's there are three things like learning to play x-wing but from an advanced perspective um okay what's my thoughts on a scum <laughs> I, I could do the podcast cool i uh yeah let's do that it's, yeah series, series of short videos like how to build a list how to do asteroids uh where to engage okay let's have a look at that what, what's my thoughts on scum control two zealous recruits four and threes with tractor and two iron oh my god that list it is nonsense it is i've i've rarely lost so hard to a list <laughs> as i did when i played that admittedly my opponent's green dice was slightly hot but ugh, I, it just wiped me i played it with four fangs it wiped me off the table um good to hear uh Garchala. i will i'll get some of that in the pipeline I, I quite like these little talky discussions. I've started saving them separately afterwards. Uh, sort of talking about bits and bobs and slow play and other bits. Because people really enjoy them and they'll they'll watch the end of, they won't watch the end of the video and they'll miss it. Um could do a podcast on it, absolutely. Uh, get myself on something. I'm hoping to do a podcast soon uh, over in the States. Got a couple of people asking. Um Yeah, I I, I talk too much. No no one should let me have access to a podcast. They just allow me to talk. Still. So, ideas from you guys. Um, Alright, let's... Uh, oh, no, apparently... So, where, where... Oh, yeah, sorry, analysis. I need to remove that one. Uh, it thinks you said anal. Oops. <laughs> yeah, so, um, I need to remove the thing with the space. So, yeah, analysis has anal in it. So, you know, it's always nice to know. Um, where are we? Uh, I need to just get rid of the bot, honestly, and turn him off. Analysis for roles within the list can be very fashion subjective. Correct. Um, yeah, so I, I agree with that. Um, but I think what you need to do is you do need to create roles in a list. Um, yeah, I basically... So if, if you look at how I built my world's list, uh, you're absolutely correct. They're very, very successful uh, because they have force. They have multiple actions. Um, and I built my world's list with the idea that force and action economy is the best thing in the game. So how do you do that? And it, it's very interesting uh, what Fly Mighty is saying there. It's, uh, he's absolutely correct. Uh, this is really, really important for understanding how to do well at X-Wing um, because you will have a style right you'll have a style that you like um fly and mighty he loves wiping things off the table so for him scum are great rebels are great um i suppose when you still have the shuttle spam in first order that could work uh but yeah basically scum and scum and rebels pretty good you can make some pretty jousty like the 40 t70s out of resistance um but those at the moment would be the main ones that i would say would fit your style um and I am not a faction player, I am a style player. A lot of people have said, oh, you love your Imperials. Like, no, I, I love aces. Uh, I love playing, as you can see from my list here, I love playing this style of ace. Um, so if you can identify what you like in a list, then when the meta changes, because it will, it will always rotate around and some factions are good at some things and then they'll change, like Imperials from 1.0 to 2.0. It took a long time for Imperials to become an ace faction again. Um, and for a very long time, they they were a swarm faction in 2.0 um, so if you've identified what archetype you like so do you like swarms do you like um, beefy efficiency do you like alpha striking torpedoes uh, then you can do that and so the rebels for example my rebel list that I love at the moment is um, Leia in the Falcon Jake uh, in an A-wing obviously I love Jake and uh, Wedge Antilles with a Proton Torpedo. Um, so Jake pre-boosts Wedge. So Wedge gets focus, does his red boost because his wings are closed, because he's firing torpedoes, he doesn't care. He then, because he's got an R4 Astromech, does a hard two. So he turns 270 degrees, target locks something because he's already got his focus and lobs a Proton Torpedo at the thing that thought it was safe um, for minus one. And because you're doing the pre-boost, it messes with people's range control. Um, it's really fun and then you can k-turn wedge and he gets a focus um, Jake can give uh, layer focuses if he needs it's it's a really fun list the other I I before layer came out I had it with Braylin and Arvel with intimidation 
um, just as a sort of a four ship you think it's beefy but actually it's super maneuverable um, I enjoyed that list a lot so that's kind of bringing the same flair of a fairly maneuverable ship into a more beefy faction but it, it's kind of like a hammer and anvil um, situation I describe that as my style it's not really aces I need a brick uh, with which to break my opponent on and then the ace comes in the side and hits them um, in my Imperial list, the Grand Inquisitor and Vader are the Brick, and Whisper is the Flanker. Um, in my Jedi list here, it doesn't matter which the Jedi they point at, um, but Ahsoka will allow the other one to be a really effective flank. Uh, she can give target lock, she can give focus token, she can boost. Just get them out of trouble. Um, so yeah. There we go. But no, what I mean... So what would you guys like to see from a... So this, to clarify, this this isn't going to be a beginner series. This isn't how to play the game. That's not my deal. Um, this is how to do well and play competitively. So what would you guys like to see as a beginner to competitive play? Uh, an intro to competitive play. So we're, like how to build a competitive list, how to do good asteroids, um how to engage properly, uh, how to look at things for the end game, that's sort of some of the things. But what, what kind of things would you guys be interested in? Also, Ahsoka is amazing. You are correct, guys. Um, yep, obstacle placement. I love that. It's really, really fun. Um, end game pre Oh, yeah, that's a good one. So, yeah, like preparing for what you're going to see in the end game. I I'm going to write these down. I need to actually uh, do, some, do some proper research on that. So, obstacles... Uh, end game targets prio um, deployment so just turn zero as well yeah a good turn zero can absolutely win or break your game uh, I reckon I win 50% of my games for my turn zero that is not an exaggeration um, or it allows me to win importantly I would lose the game if I didn't have that turn zero um, Playing aces against aces without the initiative. That's a really good one. Um, playing when losing initiative. Um, I, I'm going to say prediction after that, I think. I think prediction is a really underrated task that we do automatically, but is quite fun to work out. Uh, you, you can do it. You can actually work it out. Um, work out your opponent's three best moves and then assume that he's going to do one of those and then plan the move that he can't, he isn't going to do based on those three best moves. Um, that takes a lot of uh, knowledge of how your opponent's going to fly but can be quite quite good. Um, almost lost my recent round of Jank Tank in the second last round. Yeah, that's it's a really good point. You've you've got to prepare yourself properly for the uh, for the end of the game. Um, when to disengage and when to stay in the fight. Oh, that's a good one. I like that. Um, that's a very good call. So, when to disengage. Uh, that's a very good shout because that's uh, that's a good one. Yeah, there's there's a lot of good stuff there. Um, what can actually outrun other things? Well, that one. Yeah, that's. So maneuverability. Um, I'm going to call that. Who's the beats down? And I'm going to explain why. So for like, who's who's the beatdown? Like, wh who is going to be chasing? Yeah, like exactly, Casper. So th those two things are the same. Um, when should you joust and when should you run? Um, yeah, exactly. Like with a falcon, you can't really run away from it. You actually have to get close. The easiest way to dodge a falcon is at range one. It's a much smaller bubble, and. Uh, much more opportunity to boost and barrel out of that big fat arc. Um, also, you kill it faster. Um, so, uh, disagree with you there. Uh, not with Kylo, though. Uh, the Interceptor is the fastest ship in the... Uh, not the Interceptor, the... Um, 
Silencer is the fastest ship in the game because I think you always have to take into account actions. What actions does a ship do normally? Now the A-Wing, yes it's got a boost and barrel roll, yes it's got the best dial in the game if we're talking about the RZ-2. Um, however, it always focuses as well as doing that boost. And I find the silencer a lot of the time, especially because it has the force, doesn't. So I think the silencer and the Jedi Starfighter, the Aether Sprite, um, is probably the most maneuverable ships in the game. Uh, we don't need to talk about the RZ-1. You take that back. You take that back. RZ-1 is an terrible ship. I can't even say it. I can't, I can't say it with a straight face. <laughs> it's awful. Um, but Jake is amazing. I love Jake. Uh, he is my baby and I will carry on finding out ways to fly him. He's really good in a rebel synergy list. Uh, it's really quite fun. Um, so Jake is like... Jake and Arvel are the shining lights of the RZ-1. Um, they are so fun. Yeah, double reposition with zero stress is amazing. Um, I suppose the uh, uh, what are we, the K wing actually has to be in the argument of the fastest ship in the game as well. Uh, Lando, Luke, and Jake work really well. Um, I was playing for quite a while. Um, what was it? Luke, Thane, and Leia. There's two X wings and a um, two X wings and a Falcon. Because every single one of them effectively had a force point, because I had K2 on the Falcon uh, and the R4 mech on Thane. So he got to calculate every turn, and they all got double mods. It was great. Um, yeah, Arvel. I, yeah, it's it's always the competition. How many stress tokens do you get on Arvel? I got to 22. Uh, I've seen someone get over 100. But in an actual competitive game, the, the highest I've seen is from Phil GC, uh, which is 39 stress tokens on one A-Wing, because uh, Phil GC used to run three A-Wings, it was his very first list, um, Arvel, Greer, and, uh, not Arvel, um, Tycho, Greer, and Jake, not Greer, it wasn't Arvel, it was Initiative 4 A-Wing, Initiative 4 Rebel A-Wing, I uh, can't remember, but anyway, it might have just been a green squad. Um, correct, Fly Mighty, but uh, if your opponent is expecting you to do a blue move every turn and then you suddenly pull something nonsense, uh, then it's quite fun. Uh, you can you can really mess with people because it's in the system phase, so you just see their face go, what, as you don't put the Calculate token down on, on your X-Wing. Um, a, a fun one is putting the Calculate token on the Falcon K turning Thane and giving Thane a focus. Hello, Majestic. Uh, my day has been going okay. I've been teaching a reasonable amount. Uh, teaching from home is an interesting experience. It's a uh, yeah, it's a bit of a bit of a weary one, but I mean we're still we're still operational. We're still teaching. It's good. I um, the kids are the kids are the ones I I worry about because it's 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 hard on them. Like they've. We're expecting them to do a lot of work here, uh, because we're still operational as a, as a standard school. Like we're teaching them, we're doing like normal lessons. So I'm just hoping they're doing okay. Um, doing a lot of checking in with people today just to make sure that they're sane. Uh, while teaching physics at the same time, it's been good. Been talking about um, what photoelectric effect today. That was fun. Messing with people's brains, like oh look, light is a wave and a particle. And when it hits this thing, it gives off electrons, unless it doesn't, because it's not low enough frequency. You can actually melt the piece of metal before it gives off electrons. Anyway, um, I can't, yeah, I went sideways. Just talk talk about quantum physics because because I can. Um, but yeah, thank you guys. That's that's been some really really good ideas about some stuff I can talk about as like a uh, how to get better at the game series. I need to think of a flashy name for it, but. I might get, I might get some people on. I might ask some people on to uh, have some discussions because it's better than talking to the void. Um, really, was fly Jedi. Yeah, Jedi are amazing. Oh God, like the Anakin that goes wherever he likes. Um, ah, screen sharing. It's it's basically like I've I've got a webcam. I I have a I have a screen share. So it's basically like I'm standing at the front of a classroom. Probably, uh, it's it's still tough. 
Mm. I also, I feel good about the fact that I got one, two, three points. I can count good. Her. Um, I should probably update my score in Tabletop TO as well. Um, don't want the stream one, want that one. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to the Goldstrodden thing. Um, yeah, I've, I've, I've done that before. <laughs> I've genuinely played um, a couple of rounds in a tournament game with Kylo's dial face up, just because it didn't matter. <laughs> like We're talking 1.0 advanced sensors Kylo here. I was just like, cool, I get to do two repositions before I move. I, I literally don't care. <laughs> like, do, do what you like. You will not shoot me. Um, yeah, I was. it was a bit disrespectful. Uh, but it was... Yeah. It, it was quite a long way into the game. And it was at the point where my opponent was so frustrated that I was just like, look, I will show you. I will put my dial face up every single turn. And you will not be able to shoot me. It's, uh, yeah, like, so, th it's probably the least fun that my opponents had ever had playing the game of x -Men. Um When your opponent out-aces you, it is not very nice. Uh, I've been in that situation. It's hard. Um, did anyone mention specific object uh, choices for list type? Oh, that's a very good question. Uh, obstacles, which go with which list? That's a good point. Uh which list uh, by the way I am going to be doing all of these live like I'm I'm going to do these like this I'm going to chat because it's nice it's nice to get questions from people um, I mean I've done I can do a blog post if I wanted to do something that's reading um, but yeah oh that's that's a very yeah how to how to turn around a game uh, how to turn around a game See, you guys are much better at this than me. You should all be you should all be streamers. Um, anytime you see a scum play, player bring debris clouds, hmm, does that mean they actually? I don't know. Like, so I go with one big rock and two gas clouds with this list. Um, so the Jedi love um, they love hiding behind gas clouds, but I always need a big rock because in this situation against this exact list it means I can put this big rock over here that one there uh, and if I put that big rock over there then my opponent cannot come up this side because there is a big turning block so I know he's gonna deploy over here I can use that to predict the rest of the asteroids and get a good uh, engagement on him because I can set up one of my Jedi over here and just cruise around the flank um, or just whichever ship you like it's I, I play the same way with every single list. Um, yeah, uh, you're right though, Fly Mighty. Like if if they bring they most scum lists should bring debris though. Um, if when I was flying my fangs, uh, I always bring big rocks though, always big rocks. Because they like shooting through rocks. They like shooting through debris as well, but you don't want to be giving your opponent advantages, uh, and that's the massive tenant that I hold. Uh, unless you have a very good reason to be bringing a different type of asteroid you should always 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 have three big rocks um, the only reason that you shouldn't is if there are mining ties everywhere in the meta literally the only reason um, yeah there's there are two lists now that I'm using the gas clouds for uh, one of them is Jedi and one of them is my first order aces because uh, Von Reg loves hiding behind gas clouds um, and he lost barrel rolling off them, um, but yeah, yeah for sure. Like E wings, E wings are like that's that's the thing. You just an E wing sits behind a cloud, and it just doesn't get hurt. So what is the point of bringing an asteroid that's going to give your opponent an advantage? So it's got to work for you, or it doesn't work at all. Just get take take the big rocks. Um, there are some cases for taking small rocks, but not many. Uh, I can't think of too many lists in the present meta that need the small rocks um, because most lists are, if you're a good enough pilot, you can just bring big rocks and counteract it anyway. Um, the only thing that I can think of is like a pure alpha list. Uh, Von Reg, Daredevil, Magpulse, Kylo, yeah, all the things. All the things. Um, it's it's really fun. So I um, 
I've ditched the uh, one of the Epsilons for Proton Torpedoes and a big bid. 181 points. Screw you, Bobber. Do you want to move after Kylo? You're not allowed. <laughs> anyway. Uh, yeah, there's there's a lot of fun stuff there. That's good. Right, um Yeah, you got it you gotta have the big bid. Oh oh yeah, foul language. I should really turn you off. Where's where's the bot? Where's where's my bot? What's gonna happen is as soon as I turn him off, he, I'm gonna get spammed, aren't I? But let's let's have a look at my stream bot. Where are you? Where is the bot? It's probably in here somewhere. Oh no, you don't have to have a big bid. You absolutely don't have to have a big bid. Uh, I do have a big bid with that list because it's got two torpedoes in it and it's in the meta. I, I want to be able to kill Bobber. Uh, that's the reason I have that bid. Um, there are some things... Cloudbot? Probably. Yeah, there are some things that you do need the bid for. Uh, this Jelly list does not need the bid. Um, at all. It just doesn't. It just doesn't. Um, it runs on one nine eight. Uh, the only reason for that is that, yeah, I mean my imperial list doesn't need the bid because you know Whisper doesn't care and Vader has passive sensors, so it just laughs when Sunter tries to outmaneuver him. Um, Rebels absolutely need it. Rebels are efficiency. You you need every every point you can get. Same thing normally with um, the resistance, unless you're using Poe. Um, what else? I mean, bids-wise, it depends on the list you're flying, right? If you have a good reason, so for example, you're flying Suntir, Duchess, and something. doesn't matter what it is, you're probably going to want a bid. Uh, why not run CLT and Anakin instead of the B? Because CLT is the devil, and I hate it. <laughs> Genuinely, I cannot use it. I mean, I've got it on Ahsoka, just because it would be stupid not to, because it's only two points. But, oh, I just... So my flying style. This is this is the same reason that I can't fly Suntir in 2.0. Can't do it. It just sucks. Um, Fo needs a bid. Yeah, that's it's correct. Bid is better. Um, unless you're running shuttles. But with yeah with with CLT the bullseye thingy. Like I can bullseye, but then I just end up jousting people. And as you can see from my flying in this game, I love catching people on an angle. Um, so yeah, I really like doing that, and therefore CLT is just not my friend. Um, doesn't tend to get as many. Uh, I'm I would always favour positioning over getting a bullseye. Um, yeah. Oh yeah, like, but that's that's the thing. So my Suntir, I run outmaneuver targeting computer, and that's it. He's great. He terrifies people, um, and. Like yeah, if if you're running that sim tier, you'll shoot once every three turns. But when you shoot, oh my god, you make a difference. Uh, and if your opponent ignores you, you shoot every turn and they just lose. Um, uh, well, so good question, Fly Mighty. Uh, the fascination with Von Reg is that he's Initiative Six, and he can have a mag pulse and shoot the mag pulse before Kylo fires a proton torpedo. With a one eight one bid, what you do is you rock up to Fen. This list is built purely to kill Bobber and Fen, by the way. Like, I built it for the system opens that are now not happening because everyone was flying Bobber and Fen or Bobber and uh, something. And it, it just kills Bobber because Von Reg rolls in, goes, cool, you've got two defense dice. Fantastic. I get three hits. Here is a jam. Here is a minus one attack, a deplete token, and here is a single crit. Crit doesn't really matter unless you're firing the Magpulse at Fen, in which case he loves it. Uh, at which point, Kylo then goes, cool, I've taken a target lock, I've got my two force, here is four dice that are going to get four hits. You haven't got, you've got your force on defense, that's nice, uh, spend it, um, but you're taking probably all of your shields in that first engagement, and you take all the shields off Bobber, and he's just a limp fish. Alternatively, the better thing happens, and you catch Fen, because Fen... Your jam is focused, you give him a crit, he's unlikely to get three uh, three symbols on green dice, so chucking a mag pulse into Fen is just amazing. And then he gets shot by a very grumpy... Um, okay, you haven't got a proton torpedo, but he gets shot by a very grumpy Kylo. 
and them without a focus getting shot by something with a focus is just very sad <clears throat> um die uh die terror ra uh Dieter rabbit good name um so yeah uh, the list is kylo proton torpedo um von reg daredevil magpulse and revis because revis is amazing comes in at 181 um yeah, I, it's a shame because I was really looking forward to smashing up some system opens in hyperspace with it uh, because it's really good. Uh, it's really, really good. Uh, has everyone submitted their JTO list now? I think, I think so. I think so. Uh, what we got? What the hell is that shuttle? What is Minister? Oh, that's the yeah the thingy shuttle. Oh, so your your center is fully operational. Why has he got a munitions? Why has he got munitions failsafe? Is that just a mistake? Has he got stealth? Is he meant to have stealth device instead? Um. Oh, sorry, jank, jank tank, jank tank. I thought you, I thought you meant space jam. That's why. Also. Why'd you get such a good jank tank list? This is why I didn't play the jank tank. This is why I didn't play jank tank. Because it's it's just RNG on who gets the best list. I mean, yes, you got to fly it well, but... Uh, yeah, if you get a good list, then fine. Uh, yeah, drop slowing for Krennic. Makes sense. Um, what, so if, if you had that list... Okay, now here, here's a funny here's a fun experiment in list, in list building. Um... I suppose the problem with Jank Tank is you end up playing against a lot of uh, beefy lists. Right, let's have a look at this. So that that is the king of all shuttles, right? But it does actually do a fair bit of damage. I mean, Tour is, isn't is terrible, um, and it actually keeps the shuttle alive, and especially Jendon. Um, so, Vermeil, yeah, makes sense. Um, Predator is kind of pointless. Slice is alright. Um, especially with Jendon. Stealth device, hilarious. I think honestly I would have I would have put targeting on Cintia. I think that would have been my call. Um because you put T C on Cintia, you've got Jendon to give him the lock from a long way away. He's got outmaneuver. I know I know Krennic is amazing. Oh no, it wouldn't have fit because you had Sloan, didn't you? Yeah, you had Sloan and Sloan is expensive. Yeah, it wouldn't have fit. No, fair enough. I think Krennic is the correct call there. You did, you did a good job on that. Sorry, I'll go back to reading the chat. Let's read the chat. Um, yeah, Tua is amazing. Tua is really, really good. You're just like, cool, I'll take a reinforce and then I'll get another one for free. Is it an action? Oh, God. I hope it's not an action. What is Minister Tua? Is Minister Tua an action? Oh, it is an action. Um, it's not like the um, yeah the uh, the decimator that can do two two whatever ac actions a turn. That's hilarious. You should totally play that. That's amazing. Um, okay, let's let's have a look at this then. Let's have a look at this. Let's uh, let's switch to uh, some lists right then. So what we got? Uh, Rook, always fun. Um, Rock with K2, that's not a terrible hawk. That is not a bad hawk. Um, Kraken, I love Kraken. Kraken's fun. Action's out the wazoo. Wedge. It, what the hell? This is a really good list. Okay, Wedge has got plasmas. Could be better, could be protons. But that's all you need on him. Like, you. Oh my god. Like, how. It's a tank list. This is a tank tank list. What like if, is this the one that you've changed? What did you change? <laughs> Basically, fly mighty. You are R in Jesus. <laughs> oh, okay. There we go. There we go. There we go. I was gonna say like <laughs> complete R in Jesus. <laughs> All right. So, uh, how? Okay. Do you want? Do you want me to be like? Nice to you. Do you want me to be brutal? Like, what do you want? What do you want me to do? Like, do you just want me to go ahead and properly critique it? Um, like, I, I can do either. 
let me know. All right then. So, uh, drop the hammer you want ideas. Uh, Rourke is terrible. You shouldn't take him. You can use him. That's fine. But you're paying 46 points for something with a two red dice attack. Cool. You make something initiative seven. You're already initiative six. Don't bother. Put another gun in there. Now K2, that is a consideration. K2 is really good. But you've already got Jake. So why put K2 in and Jake in the same list? You're already giving people focus tokens. Don't double up. Uh, because realistically, you're probably only going to be able to use one of those a turn. You're only going to get one good shot. So use Jake to make sure it's a good shot. Um, yeah, do, do post your thoughts on this. Um, Kraken, I imagine, shoots first and gives people actions, but again, you've got Jake. I mean, I, I like that. I like the fact that you have a double modded torp before wedge, but you're running on 200 points. And if you're running on 200 points, the things that you're going to be shooting with that mag pulse are not going to care. They're going to be low initiative, they're not going to be the ace that you want to kill with wedge, realistically. Um, so yeah that basically love these two think they're great plasma torpedoes makes sense um but i feel like the mag pulse there is you're, you're spending what is that 90 points yeah you're, you're spending 90 points on getting a mag pulse in before wedge fires and hit something with plasmas anyway so they're not wasted like it's gonna hurt but you come up against a list that you can't target lock and you're in trouble so on the flip side of that though I actually quite like Kraken I think Kraken's great he's really nice and I think a much better way of doing that is to just drop your crack shot and take swarm tactics it's five points yeah but it's much cheaper than a hawk um, so why not do that just run swarm tactics version Kraken in formation then we get some points to spend uh, so let's do that let's let's keep your idea I like your idea it's an interesting idea uh, so let's see what we can fit in we got 42 points that's that's X-wing territory um, I'm gonna ditch the proton rockets I really like them but for the moment I'm just playing so this is this is what I do when I build a list I strip things down to the absolute basics that you need so plasmas fine I'd make it protons but I'm gonna leave it plasmas keep it cheap because we're gonna need it if you got um, Blount in there as well. And Plasmas are quite nice, like you hit people, you get another damage. Um, nope, you know what, I'm being mean, I'm gonna make it Protons. So, you got 45 points. Predator, crack shot. that's a good Jake. He'll pull his weight, he'll make his 39 points back. Kraken, people will shoot him. He is a bullet magnet. Um, so, because he's a bullet magnet, I think he's worth 43. He shoots first, you're probably running this on 200 so he will shoot first um, therefore what do you put in what do you put in uh, okay so th this is the other thing that I do you've got 45 points right so you then drop in a list of ships that are that are worth 45 points so let's have a think of the good ships because this is extended let's have a think of the good ships that are worth 45 Sabine is interesting Sabine is fun. Um, she's pretty good. Uh, I would probably put something like Jin in there because then you can evade with your free Kraken thingy. Um, that could be could be a good option. So I'll, I'll leave her there. Uh, or you could give her a turret. You could give her a dorsal. I don't like that as much. I'd probably ditch that for an iron cannon. So Sabine with an iron cannon turret, and you just run either your choice, Cratcher or Predator on Jake doesn't really matter which uh, so that that's an option let's leave that on there because we're gonna go over, go over the points anyway um, other options standard X-wing your friendly neighborhood X-wing is pretty good um, he has options uh, you can run a red squad initiative 3 not to be sniffed at kills droids uh, or you can go for the initiative 1 blocker 39 points leaves you some spares for toys uh, you could fit some things back on here if you drop the crack shot you could probably get because um, if you assume he's firing mag pulse a lot of the time if you drop crack shot on here um, let's get rid of Sabine seven points you can put your uh, proton rockets back on Jake that's a list two X-wings Jake Kraken that's fun 
I'd be scared of that. Um, what else fits in here? What else fits? Uh, Sheathapede, eh, you've already got enough action passing. Ewing? Maybe? What Ewings? Have Tobber. Tobber's fun. Two tubes, meh. K2 as a pilot. He's fun. K2 pilot? We can do that. I suppose a Ewing could work. Uh, where else? What else? What else? What else? What else? Can't fit a ghost. Two headhunters? Nah. Not worth the points. Or a B wing. Um, I think if you're going to take a standard generic, it's probably better off taking. Um, uh, where's my brain gone? Uh, yeah, it's probably better off taking a X wing over a B wing. But that's your choice. So I think the version of the list that I would go with is this. Oh yeah, sorry, I forgot Y wings. Where's my Y wings? I like that. I like I like Dutch. Dutch is fun. Um, so Nora, Nora is an amazing ship. It's really good. Iron Cannon Nora. Seriously, d just use use this ship. is is really good. And what I would do is I would ditch the Predator on Jake and I would give her an R4 Astromech um, for 48 points because that will make your opponent cry. Because uh, if they just... She she has more defense than a... Um, sorry, I, I got rid of the chat box, didn't I? Uh, that's stupid of me. Let me let me go back to here. We've got, we got the chat box. Um, yeah, so... I, th I think that Nora is a good option. Dutch is a pretty good option. Uh, Horton is okay. I mean, he's fun. I like his new ability. It's much better than his old ability. But, yeah, so Y-Wings are an option. I think I'd still probably... Because I, I love pricing rockets on Jake. Um, so I would probably still go with the Cavern Zealot. Protons and Predator. Because that's an angry Jake, like, um, maybe run crack shot on Kraken instead. Some tactics. So yeah, there's a lot of fun stuff there. I think I think that's what I'd do. Merrick fifth, seventh, Sinar. Uh, yeah, let's let's not talk about how scary that list is. If you optimize that, it's just terrifying. Just give it passive sensors everywhere. It's ridiculously good. Um, sorry to show you peoples. Uh, this is what we're talking about. That one. So yeah, um, hit hit me with your thinks, Fly Mighty. I kind of, I did I did some thinking there. That that's what I do if I was building a list. I think that's that's what I would end up with, based on this principle. Um, Hopefully it was helpful. I don't know. I uh, I definitely fly a certain style. Um, y wing is definitely not out of the picture, but I think that's what I do with the others, and then whatever forty-five ish point um, you can do. Yeah, it kills I sixes. I mean, the other thing to think about is what I sixes are in the meta that you're scared of, because um, there aren't that many. There's a lot of fives. Which it also will do just as well. Um, the only question I would have is how is our friendly neighbourhood Kraken going to get his target lock? So that's another argument for Dutch. Because uh, Kraken is not going to be able to get an easy target lock there. Which is a shame. But it's worth thinking about. Right, it's one in the morning. I think I need to go sleep. But thank you for the chatting, guys. This has been really fun. Um, this is also going up to YouTube as a separate one, just as a bit of a, a bit of a chat over. Um, but regardless of that, have yourselves a wonderful evening. Um, I will catch you all later, and I hope you uh, you're staying safe wherever you are. Have a good time. Uh, I dislike putting burners on a Z95 because it explodes. Um, but yeah, I will see you guys soon and have a wonderful, wonderful time wherever in the world you are. And hopefully you're still okay in the head with this weird world that we're living in right now. Uh, sorry, I shouldn't just put put down your ideas. I shouldn't just do it. But you, you asked me to be mean, 
so there we go you're you're making a ship that costs 39 points almost like 15 percent more expensive uh and it's not going to help you kill anyone because he wants to shoot from long range uh you've always got to think about what the function of the ship is and why is it helpful uh so really kraken wants to be at long range Rourke is fun. You should totally try Rourke. Put Rourke with Dash and watch people cry. I mean, it's not a good list, but it's hilarious. <laughs> anyway, sorry, Sith Panda. I'm literally just about to stop. Um, so I'll see all you wonderful people later and have yourselves a good evening. Goodbye.